And we are racing at Coda. In line with you. Nothing. Just looking. Up to a 130-foot crest and then downhill. What about heading toward turn two? What about Stuart Friesen diving in there on Kyle Busch? These guys know that Kyle Busch is a favorite. They want to put him in their rear view mirror. Bowman with the lead. Zane Smith second. Reluctantly getting single file as they uh, full, flow through the S's here, chopping some of the corners off. Few of the guys at the back still trying to get uh, sorted out here. Two and three wide in the seven. That's a pretty sketchy spot for these guys. Yeah, our truckers, Andy, they don't like to be they don't like to be single file. They want to race you every lap. They want to race you hard. These races are short. They're quick. You better get it done in a hurry. Absolutely. And two wide through eight and nine right there. That is tough to do without knocking somebody off the track there. Coming up to 11 in this tight hairpin turn. And then the long. Ooh, oh, we got eight. one. Yeah, that's Austin Wayne Self in the 22. Boy, that's a tough break. He is from Austin, Texas. And that is some pretty significant damage to the 22. Taylor Gray was involved in that as well. Wow. Something went wrong there. There was way too much. Hot on the hills is right. Zane can't make a mistake. We'll have it all slip away from him. Look at Stewart hanging that rear end out. Closing in as well. <laughs> Swings wide, trying to use every bit of track that is available to him. That's why I love stage racing. They're heating it up right now like it's the last lap of the race. A lot on the line. On their way to the green and white checkers, stage one belongs to Zane Smith, his first stage win of the season. Uh, but this is not the first incident of contact between them today. On the restart of the second stage in turn eight, they got together. This was just, oof. Check out this wild, this was just a wild dive by the 61 truck of Purdy, and this, this just didn't work, obviously. He just got in over his head and took out the veteran Matt Crafton, and Matt was already upset with that. 61 truck, so uh, that, that, that that was unnecessary. But Crafton felt that uh, Purdy had kind of dive-bombed him earlier in the race, and then it happens again. We're going to get some great views at it. First of all, from Ben Rhodes. Left side door. Left side door. Man, so left side. what happens there is you're loaded up with a ton of ton of weight on the left side and right as you straighten up and go back he's going to break and all the weight comes off that inside left front tire and there's no way it's going to start it's going to start sliding right away and there's no way it's going to turn into 19 down. right there catches matt in the corner and sends him around fortunate that Rhodes and Ankrum didn't get tied up in that how about some radio from matt well, craft you might you might hold your yeah. finger near the beep button yeah, on this one until they pull us. Boy, going to have a hell of a lesson here in a minute. Used to seeing green-white checkers overtime in the truck series. These guys are battling it out. Oh, oh he's around. Smith gets into Nemechek, and Nemechek spins. I was just going to say, it is so tough to be side-by-side -side through 12, 13, 14, and then our tightest turn, 15. But the four looked like it started closing the door. And surprise, this is what I was watching the whole time. The 61 is around. I'm, and I'm guessing sure Matt guess Crafton had something to do with that. Yep. Let's see if that neon yellow 88 maybe I wasn't even uh... watching the fight at the front of the pack. I just wanted to see the 88 punt the 61 here. I, that was so obvious this was coming. He was nice to him and did it in a slow corner at least just to send the message and didn't put sticking him in the wall, stick him in the wall here. But uh, fortunately, nobody else involved. Harmless spin for the 61. Hopefully Matt's de-stressed now and uh, he can get back to coming through this field. It just they just put him right in his lap. I mean, there was no way that was not going to happen with Matt having him right there. And then look at the battle for the lead. They that, get together. That was ambitious. That was that was an ambitious look. So far, so good for Purdy in the 61. Zane Smith coming through turn 19, headed to 20, and then he'll be on that straight toward the green and white checkers. It will be the second time in his young career that Zane, Sw Zane Smith has swept both stages. Getting it done here at Coda. Zane Smith, winner of stage one and stage two. Now, can he complete the job and win the race? Her left front doesn't look normal either. You can see 
couple of spinners, uh, and then Haley, you can see that right front just yeah, took the brunt of the blow. Two runs in. Yeah. This is a great uh, run. Caution, caution, caution. Oh, and the caution has come out for Eckes. That's coming out of 15. There's a truck stall. So Eckes has gone around, and the 46 of Jaskel has stalled. So that has brought out the caution. And we're going to have her. He knows the 52 is coming. Bowman takes a wide look, trying to cut across, but Friesen is there. So oh. Kyle negotiates that smoothly. We've got one around in turn one. And there's the 61 of Purdy having issues again. Ah, oh, firing right back up. Good job, Chase. Around goes Grala. And that's Colby Howard as well in the 91. Still able to keep him moving. And look who's right there. Bowman still hunting. Kyle Busch takes a look on the inside, but Kyle holding him off. Friesen sitting there in third. Interesting different lines through eight there. Kyle has been wide through eight, not using the curbs as much as uh, as much as the other drivers. Big run oh, by Bowman. The caution has come out. Big run by Bowman there. Still there in second. He just needs to clear Friesen in a hurry so he can continue the pursuit. Oh, he does he got a action. Yeah, Friesen and Bowman, a little bit of contact there kept free, kept Bowman back and Friesen in the second spot. Bowman third. It's the best thing that could have happened for Kyle Busch, I think, as fast as that seven looked on the last restart. Especially on the way down to 11 there. Bowman was able to really make a move there. We've seen him close back up on the 52. 52's been brave on the brakes. I don't know if he's got the truck that the 7's got. Here comes 34. 38, excuse me, from row five, 3. Zane Smith has moved up. Yeah, yeah. Bowman just racing with urgency to get around Stuart Friesen oh, to have a shot. Oh, no. It's all three of them together. Zane, Zane, Zane Smith, Smith on the double stage winner is going to go to P1. Kyle slips back to fifth. Wow, Zane Smith out front, and now Bowman getting around Friesen. Does Bowman have enough speed to catch Zane? They, they've been trying to wreck on the middle of the back straightaway there for a few seconds and finally accomplished that. Oh, this puts Kyle behind the eight ball here. Here comes Kligerman. Kligerman now charging to challenge Alex Bowman for second. Friesen way off line, getting wedged his way back in, yes. Kyle Bush around Kligerman. Bowman gets second. John Hunter Nemechek now coming up into the mix. He and Kyle running side by side for third. Kyle Busch maybe not done yet. These guys aren't done beating each other up yet either. Zane Smith out front. Alex by Bowman about a second and a half with some tire smoke. Tanner Gray rebounded up in the top five. Until he gets punted off just then. Zane has a super comfortable lead here with one to go. He's He's been fast all day. He's just got to give it 99% all the way home, and the center's not going to be able to get him. The white flag, the final lap for Zane Smith. Their truck's all over the track, but able to keep rolling, and we stay green. Still that great battle for second between John Hunter and Alex Bowman. Wow, that's a tough move on the outside of turn two right there. John Hunter gets the spot, but the battle with Bowman has cost them time to Zane Smith. Smith out almost three seconds now. Bowman taking a peek back on the inside. That's Kyle right behind them in fourth. Nemechek trying to hold that position far and away would be his best finish of the season. Three finishes outside the top 20 to begin the year. Kyle's going to dive down on Bowman. Bowman's going to try the crossover. Can't quite get there. And that lets the four get away. That gets the four. Another handful of turns, a half a lap to try to close that space up on the 38. But Zane Smith leads by almost three and a half seconds. Wow. How about this for front row motorsports and owner Bob Jenkins? This team won here a year ago, the inaugural race at Coda.
with Todd Gilliland behind the wheel. This time, it's Zane Smith. Smith won the first stage, won the second stage, and is trying to sweep this race here. It would be the first time that's happened this season. Man, they're still wrecking back in the field. Look at Crafton. Crafton's in the dirt coming through 14. He went off the street. You don't think those positions matter? Look at the contact. Fighting for every spot on the final lap. I'm so proud of my row three, Vince. That's exactly, you called it. They went from row three to row one. Five and six went one, two. Zane Smith right. taking it home. What a drive. Zane Smith wins at Circuit of the Americas. Where'd Bowman go? He Fifth career win for Smith. His that, second this season. That was thrilling. That was pretty amazing. That's a mega comeback story right there. I mean, we I had counted them out. I thought I thought there weren't enough laps left, but boy, that truck was quick. Well, there's Alex Bowman and all the damage you can see that his truck suffered here in this final lap. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.